What's up guys? It is Monday, October 22nd. I am currently uploading another video right now, so you've probably already watched that, hopefully, by the time this is up. I went to Cedar Point yesterday with some friends. If you don't know what that is, Cedar Point is an amusement park and it's in Sandusky, Ohio. So many people from the US have never heard of this and they like have just always gone to like Six Flags or something, but like Cedar Point is so much better than like Six Flags or like literally, I swear, anything. Like they have the best rides. So check it out. If you go, make sure you get a fast pass. It is more expensive, but so worth it to skip the lines. So I was gonna work out today, ate pretty bad this weekend. I had pumpkin pie and ice cream and then I had cookies later that night and then yesterday I had a couple deep fried Oreos. I had a fried chicken sandwich for lunch. Just <laughs> not good in a donut. So I was like ready to get in the gym today and then I was just really exhausted and I wanted to sleep in so I didn't go early. I said I was gonna go later. It's noon. <laughs> Started my period this morning and so I'm really like tight and I feel like I just need to stretch. So I think I'm gonna do a yoga workout that my sister-in-law posted on my app for you guys and me. So I'm gonna do that in the living room and I will record that for you guys. Probably just like time lapsed or something, but yeah, I think I'll feel really good after that. But I've just been like getting work done and cleaning a bit. So that is my Monday. I literally haven't eaten anything, but I don't feel hungry. Sometimes it's like, I feel like it's good to like cleanse and, or not, or like, I'm sorry, not cleanse, <laughs> fast. Just like give your body a break from eating all the time. I know we fast like overnight, but I read somewhere that, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't read it. I watched it on Netflix's Explain show. They talked about, it was like the Can We Live Forever episode and it was just interesting. They were talking about, um, I won't get too in depth, but basically by fasting, it kind of like, our body kind of like panics a bit and they're like, oh shoot, like we're, like I don't have food. Like I gotta kind of make do with what I have and like make sure everything's in order and like organize the DNA and the proteins and everything, I guess like better. So it's more efficient sometimes if you do fast. So I'll probably eat around one or two. So I'm not really doing this on purpose. I just have been busy but it's not the worst thing, I guess. I'm not doing it to obviously, not doing it to lose weight at all. It's kind of like, it's kind of similar to like intermittent fasting. And I think that's why maybe that is like a benefit of intermittent fasting, but I don't think doing it just for weight loss is like super effective personally. Also, if you have naturally like a slow metabolism, I think eating breakfast right when you wake up is like a good thing to really like kickstart everything and like get those organs flowing and working. So. Everyone's different. Do what works for you and what you enjoy. So I'm gonna finish uploading this video and then I'm gonna do some yoga right there. We'll see if Taco join. Probably not, but. Okay, so it is 3.15 <laughs> and I am just now getting around to do my little yoga. Broke out the mat that has literally been in the garage since we moved in in February, so that's fine. Still haven't had a meal, but I saw some dark chocolate covered almonds, so I just snacked on a few of those just to uh, help get me through this a little bit. But I don't even know how long these are. Let me find it on the app real quick. So they're actually like only 45 minutes, so that's like perfect. That's what I feel like doing right now. I didn't want to only do 30, but. I don't know if I'm really feeling up for a whole hour of yoga. So if you wanna do this exact yoga workout that I'm about to do, you can download the CC Fit app. It is free to download, and this specific yoga workout, actually both of them, are free to do. They're under the free workouts category. My sister-in-law was gonna do more yoga workouts, but she's actually working on her own app. So I'm excited for her, that'll be awesome. And this one I'm doing is called Yoga Flow for Daily Practice. Without further ado, I should probably get started. Kind of a late start to the day.
it comes again. So just finished my little yoga flow. One, I am terrible at yoga. Two, it's kind of hard to follow from an app that's set up like mine for lifting because it's not as like flowy, but, and then I ended up going through and like looking at each of them. So I kind of knew what was ahead. And so I knew like, cause sometimes I would do like the right side, then the left side, but sometimes you're supposed to like flow through the right side on multiple poses and then you go back and flow through the left side. And yeah, so I kind of missed that part, but that's okay. I'm a beginner and it's fine. It was a lot longer. Like it felt way longer than I thought it would. But I also like yoga is not really like my favorite thing in the world. So yeah, but I finished kind of. I'm not gonna lie, I skipped some things. It's important to figure out what you actually enjoy doing. Obviously it's hard to enjoy something that you're not very good at at first. So I feel like that's why I need to like stick with yoga. Not like I'm never gonna be like an actual yogi, but I need to do it more often because it is so good for you and to like stretch my muscles and all the other little muscles that I don't use or stretch or whatever, twist and all that stuff. So yoga is just great for so many different reasons. But yeah, it would never be like my everyday practice. Like I like lifting way too much. It's much more enjoyable for me. Everybody has their preferences. Also, Tuck in the beginning was like, like he could not sit down. Like he found an old chicken wing bone that was like missed the trash a couple weeks ago or something and was like chomping on that. So I had to go get him midway. He never does this. That is usually all he does. But one time I roll out a mat. Maybe he was just confused what was going on and he had to like run around or something. I don't know but that's fine. I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna exfoliate and self tan with my loving tan that I have mentioned many times because it is coming off. I don't know if you can tell. It gets real like, I don't even know the word to describe it. But yeah, it's time to exfoliate. Get that dead skin off and put a new fresh coat on. I do it about once a week. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And I'll show you guys what I end up eating once I figure it out because I literally have no idea at this point. I feel exhausted right now and I look so pale. <laughs> I didn't self tan again yet just because exfoliating takes so much out of you. Oh my gosh, like the hot water from the shower plus like literally scrubbing every part of your body as hard as you can gets me every time. So even if I turn the water colder, it still feels like exhausting. Also, I haven't really eaten today, so that's probably another reason and also my fault. So. This is gonna be just a side on this movie. Just sounds good and nutritious. I'm gonna do my uh, Garden of Life plant-based protein chocolate, some peanut butter, almond milk, bananas, and some ice. Our greens, also from Garden of Life, just a little scoop, and some hemp seeds. Oh, also, we might be out actually. Yeah, we are. But I was gonna add a proper CBD oil, but we are out. So, now you gotta order some. That will be my breakfast, lunch, snack. I don't know what's going on today.
Hi guys, just got home from the gym with Camille. I don't think you saw her on this, but she came with me today to record and help me out. She's so sweet. And I just got home and I made some oatmeal. So I did, same as my, I think it's two videos ago I did this, but did the pumpkin protein, the oats, the almond milk, uh, sweetened a bit with honey, added some hemp seeds this time, and some chocolate chips because I like chocolate. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna eat this, get some work done, and watch The Office simultaneously, multitasking at its finest. What's up guys? I just got back from the grocery store. First off, if any of you have Kroger near you, their like shop, wait, what's it called? Shop Bag and Go is so clutch. Like, it's so cool. So you have like, and if you have seen it, but don't know what it is, you like grab the little remote thing and then you like sh like scan your shopper's card or whatever. And then you literally, and then I like brought my own bags and you scan the items as you go. And then there's like a scale for like the produce and stuff like that. And then you just throw it in the bag and then you go to self checkout, scan the machine, your whole thing pops up you pay you don't have to take everything out of the bag it's again it's just like ready you like literally scan it pay and walk out the door like it's so nice i wish whole foods had it too but that's okay so i got some stuff to make john's homemade spaghetti sauce we're not making spaghetti like we're just doing we're doing chicken instead of beef not for health reasons but trying to limit our beef consumption lately limit keyword not cutting out anything cold turkey is hard yeah i basically watched a documentary that said how much water it takes for like one hamburger and it's a lot so yeah just trying to do what i can to uh conserve water i guess when doing what i can when i can little baby steps just better than i was yesterday so that all being said, got chicken for the spaghetti sauce. I've been asking John for this recipe for so long, so I'm really excited. I'll make sure I get his permission to share, but nah, I'm just gonna share it. Cause I have to make it tonight cause he's not gonna be home till nine and it is five o'clock and I'm gonna be hungry before nine. Yeah, I also got my Amazon package in the mail. Dry shampoo, I ran out like a week ago and I've been struggling. Had to wash my hair, it sucks. So I got four boxer bottles of Amika. I've shared that before. I also got a sports bra from Outdoor Voices. And I've gotten things from them before, but it's been a while. And I got this sports bra in the mail a couple weeks ago and did not realize that the color was completely, completely different color than what I thought it was. I thought it was like a tan, heathered tan color. And it was like light pink, light blue. It just wasn't, it wasn't my style. So I went to return it and then I realized that they had the actual tan color. I don't know why I didn't see this one. So they do have tan, so I got tan. Let me open it up real quick. So yeah, this is it. I've been loving like the, this is kind of like a hump, but I've been loving like the straight across look with like the straps like this. I haven't tried it on yet, so don't know what it's gonna look like, but there it is. I think it was like 40, yeah, 45. Just caught Tuck eating a Go Macro protein bar and the chocolate flavor, so he's probably gonna get diarrhea or throw up tonight. So really excited for that. Not letting him sleep in the bed because last week he literally got diarrhea and didn't jump off the bed. He literally shit in the bed and John like wiped his leg through it because he was asleep. And so we had to like get up at three and like, it was like we had a newborn baby. So I don't know what he ate that day or got into, but it wasn't good. And now it's probably gonna happen again. I'm trying to look at other things I got. I got these, I got like stuff for chips and salsa. Chips and salsa is like John's favorite food, snack, meal. I don't know what you wanna call it. So I got these. We like k pasta the best for chips, but Kroger doesn't have those. Kroger only has these ones. Not only those ones, but these are the ones I like from Kroger. And Dave's Killer Bread Bagels, Boom and Berry. These bagels are so good, you guys. They have four flavors. They have Boom and Berry, Plain, Cinnamon Raisin, and an Everything Bagel. They're so good, like so chewy and they're organic. And they have 10 grams of protein per bagel. And I got some cream cheese to go along with it because I have been eating those as like a late night snack with peanut butter and jelly, but cream cheese just sounded better. Chicken broth, tomatoes, Onion, garlic, nothing really exciting. Juice, chicken in here. Apple juice, sugar for the sauce, and salsa, garden fresh. I like mild salsa and mild everything because 
my body literally can't handle anything medium or spicy or anything. Like I immediately start like, my nose starts running, my lips are burning, my tongue is burning. I just can't enjoy the flavor because it's so hot. I don't even like pepper. I hate pepper, like on anything. If there's even like a sprinkle of pepper on top of something, it ruins it for me. It's so weird. The sauce is literally like homemade. Like I got 10 tomatoes and I'm using the blender to make the sauce. Like this is some fresh ass shit. So I'm excited that I get to make it this time and see how it turns out. He gave me the recipe, but he'll probably adjust the seasoning when he gets home. So I'm gonna get started on that. Yeah, I guess I'll try and record along the way, but it's pretty simple. I just gotta blend shit, crush it up, throw it in a pot and let it cook. And baked chicken, I gotta bake chicken separately. So get to it. I just have to say really quick, I freaking hate chopping onions <laughs> and garlic. Garlic's hard because you gotta do it all small and shit. But onions, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna be bawling my eyes out. So, get ready. This is me chomping on gum, gum right now. Really intense, so I don't cry. But it's not working, literally at all. Oh my God. This is why John cooks. I can't. Do it, you guys. I freaking hate onions. They suck. They're delicious, but they suck. Oh my god, I hate it. Okay. So dramatic, but like for real, there's an actual tear. Yeah, see it? It's glistening under my nose. An actual tear swelling up my face. I finally got a cut though. I gotta do the garlic. That's probably gonna make me cry too because I'm a freaking baby and sensitive to everything. So, okay, so 20 minutes later, I finally chopped garlic and onion. Garlic is harder to chop than I remember because I haven't chopped it in forever, but also because my nails are too long. I did it like chef style, you know, like keep the top of the blade like in place and just and that seemed to uh, work better. So yeah, I think I got it. Now I'm about to put it in this pot that is on medium heat with some olive oil and let those brown a little bit and then stir them. And then in the meantime, wash the tomatoes, blend them, all that good stuff. So I just added the blended tomatoes and broth to the onions and garlic after they browned. Uh, oh, and now I have to add the sugar and salt and cayenne and pepper, but I'm not adding the pepper because F pepper, honestly. But I feel like I blended it too much or something because it looks really light. So I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it uh, darkens. I think it'll probably darken over time. We'll see. Okay, sugar and salt and cayenne pepper are in. Putting the sugar in, I uh, spilled it everywhere. And I always give John a hard time about making a mess when he cooks. Like, I feel like he's just is kind of, like throwing shit everywhere, but I've been trying to be careful and there's literally like onion all over the ground and all this sugar. And I literally just vacuumed earlier, but we're gonna have to do it again. Literally, literally sugar everywhere. So now I put that on simmer and we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours. Or no, probably an hour. The chicken is in the oven. So once that's done, I'll probably cut that up and then I will cook orzo. And by then um, the sauce should be about ready, but we'll see. Just gonna play it by ear and see how long it takes to get that dark red brown. So yeah, I will put the directions and ingredients in the description box below this. So don't worry about having to watch this through because I have been a shit show. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm gonna clean up after myself now and uh, well, let's listen to some music. What's up guys? So it is Wednesday now and I didn't show you guys the finished product because we did not finish the sauce. Until, well, it didn't like finish cooking because one, I put too much broth. John kind of like made up the recipe from the top of his head. He doesn't usually measure things. So it was kind of like a guessing game and I put too much Sugar. He told me to put too much sugar. I put how much he wanted, but he overestimated how much he usually puts. So it was super sweet, but it's, I think it's still really good. I'll adjust the recipe in the description box, but here it is. And we used orzo and chicken, and I think it's really good. I'm about to eat it for lunch after my leg day, and my camera's about to die. So I will see you in the next vlog.